Hey, Mr. Parker here to review a new one from Severn Films. Uh, this film was made in 1980. It is Burial Ground, or Nights of Terror, or Zombie 3 Nights of Terror. Uh, this one was just released. Actually, it's going to be released the 25th of October, a Tuesday. That'll be tomorrow uh, when I'm filming it. Hopefully, I'll have this up by then. But, uh, yeah, if you guys are not familiar with Burial Ground, I feel horribly sorry for you guys. Uh, Burial Ground is one of the uh, most memorable and best uh, cheesy, sleazy uh 80s uh, Italian zombie films uh, of all time, uh, along with its peers, kind of like Hell of the Living Dead, Nightmare City, Zombie 3, Zombie Holocaust, with Severn also released. Stuff like that, just really cheesy, ridiculous, uh, shellacky movies. Uh, Burial Ground basically follows the story of a professor who uh, unlock, uh, unleashes an ancient evil in a villa. He's soon dispatched, and uh, three couples come to the villa to kind of have a weekend of uh, sexy time. And uh, the zombies show themselves, and a little bit, uh, along with some other supernatural occurrences, take place. Uh, among the group of people is a small uh, boy named uh, P who's played by Peter Bark, who is uh, actually a, a small, a really super short person playing a small child. Uh, that plays into the incestuous uh, tone or incestuous uh, scenes with his mother. Really creepy and uncomfortable stuff, uh, but also ungodly funny at the same time. Uh, for me, Burial Ground is one of those films that is equal parts. Uh, cheesy crap fest and uh, equal parts uh, surreal uh bizarre uh kind of creep fest as well that's why i enjoy it so much uh the zombies now do look very cheap uh they have masks and uh even when they're busted apart, they look like clay with mud coming out of them. But uh, they're some of the most memorable zombies uh, you could see. I mean, not every zombie can look like it's from uh, Day of the Dead or Fulci Zombie. Uh, but yeah, they are very memorable looking zombies. Uh, they kind of remind me of a cross between Fulci Zombies and the zombies from Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things in monk outfits. But uh, yeah, yeah. So the memorable zombies that just kind of never seem to stop coming. A lot of them seem to be killed several times, but that doesn't even stop them. Uh, yeah, so if you guys haven't seen Burial Ground, I would really recommend checking it out. Uh, the new release looks better than it's ever uh, looked. Uh, all the uh, features from the Shriek Show DVD are ported over, so you get that, which is awesome. Uh, there's an Italian language, an English language, there's English subtitles, there's a couple new interviews in there as well, uh, deleted and extended scenes. But yeah, again, Burial Ground is a shellacky, silly, low-budget movie that has its uh, mistakes in there that you can spot, uh, but it's filled with uh, gory stupidity and uh, tons of nudity. Well, a decent amount, of plentiful nudity. It's uh, kind of a sleazy uh, zombie horror film. But yeah, uh, this cover, lo this new cover looks great. Uh, it has the old original cover on there as well. Uh, and this movie goes back a long way for me. I, I got into the Italian stuff when I was fairly young. And this one was always at the video store. I've always loved zombies. And that uh, original cover art really stuck out to me. It drew me in. Uh, and it, it looked very similar to the Hell of the Living Dead, a.k.a. Night of the Zombies cover. And uh, Gates of Hell cover, a.k.a. Uh, City of the Living Dead. Uh, yeah, so wait, Hell of the Living Dead, a.k.a. Night of the Zombies, City of the Living Dead, a.k.a. Gates of Hell. All the Italian confusion here. But yeah, those covers always looked uh, very familiar to me. They all drew me in. I, I always enjoyed the hell out of all of them. But uh, yeah, Burial Ground. Uh, made super fast, made super cheap. It shows, but it's got some of the most memorable moments in there. Unintentional comedy and uh, just goofy, gory nightmare logic in there as well. But yeah, this is a really great release on a, a Burial Ground. I recommend checking it out. If you guys never seen Burial Ground, do yourself a service. If you like Italian films, if you like zombie films, see Burial Ground. It's nice and refreshing to see zombies in a graveyard. It has this old, almost like universal or hammer feel to it, but it has the sleaze of the Italian in there as well. Uh, the synth score really makes it pop. Uh, so yeah, and the score isn't very, uh, it's not like something like a goblin synth score. It's different. You can you can see it. Uh, and it's not all synth. But uh, yeah, it's a different score for the time, I think. Um, well, for the, a lot of the Italian pictures. But yeah, do yourself a service and check this one out if you're a big zombie fan uh, or zombie fans. But uh, check it out. I, I really love it. I can't say enough about it. Uh, is it a great film? No, not technically, not really anywhere. Is it one of the most vastly entertaining zombie movies ever made? Definitely. Uh, I'm Mr. Parka. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Yeah, no, 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 no
Fermatevi! Ah! 